Hello everyone, welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. I have never read a comic book in my life, never. Like I've barely really even like looked at them before, much less actually read one. But I've always been curious and wanted to try out comic books or a graphic novel or something just to try out just to experience it and just to see and recently i was talking to a friend of mine who is really big into comic books and he was telling me about this like new company that comes out with christian comics now and he was telling me about it and i decided that i need to try those out if any comic like i need to try out these christian comics so i went to walmart and I found them. Well, I found three of them. Apparently they have four different ones right now. Four separate series. But I only found three. Since this is going to be just like a totally new experience for me, I thought it might be interesting to just vlog my comic book reading experience for the first time. So yeah, that's, that's what this video is about. That's what we're doing. So the three comics that I got are... Bass Reeves, Nora's Saga, and we have The Futurists. So I'm not really sure what any of these are about, except for this one. I kind of skipped to the back and got a little bit of information about it. And the other two, I have no clue what they're about. So this is the one I'm most looking forward to because I really like westerns and stuff like that. So I'm very much looking forward to this one. And I'm just interested in these. Not sure how this is going to be. Okay, update. So the friend I was telling you about that was telling me about these comic books to begin with, he saw that my Walmart only had three of the four comic books that were available, so he bought the fourth one and sent it to me. And it was very sweet of him. Thank you so much, Jake. It was very thoughtful, and it's a good thing he sent it and I got it before I went out and bought it because I found another Walmart that had it. I just didn't buy it. So now I have the complete collection, and I very much look forward to reading all of these very, very soon. things that I just thought were um really funny first of all they're these horses like their necks just I think this part this little illustrated section right here is like one of my favorites in the whole book it's very colorful and it's a very like artsy style and I really like it I looked at this page for a little while and then I thought this is very funny okay so these like criminals are like sitting around a campfire talking about the legendary Bass Reeves and all the things that they've heard about him and all the stuff he's done then like they hear singing he's singing like a old hymn like just ominously sneaking up on them he starts like quoting the bible to them <laughs> it's just so funny and then this just violent like just starts quoting the bible before he like kills this dude and gets set on fire like what the heck also, like, look what he's doing when he doesn't even have a shirt on. Like, that is not protecting you, sir. And then, at the end of the book, here he goes again, quoting the Bible. He's so angry. That is the end. It was very short. I wasn't expecting it to end like that. Next thrilling episode arrives July 7th, which has already come and gone. I do plan to get the next one because I want to, like, finish this story. And I also want to look up Bass Reeves and read more about him and see, like, how much of this. Like, did he really go around quoting the Bible? Was that, like, his little saying that he said before he, like, got the bad guys? Like, I want to know these things. These are this is important information and things that I need to know. Okay. Nora 
Saga. Season one, episode one. Wolves. Can I just say really quick, I think it's just fun how like on some pages, like this, you're reading it this way, it takes up like like this, and then sometimes it'll just be like in little sections. Um, sometimes it's like this with like little blocks and then you're reading this page and then this page. Um, I don't know, I just think it's fun because every page is different and it's just fun. Okay, I just finished this one. The second installment came out on the 7th. It's called The Witch. I really like this one too. It did turn out to be a fantasy. It starts out like a contemporary time period kind of thing and then something happens and it goes into a fantasy um, Norse mythology kind of world talking about like Thor and Loki and Odin and all that stuff. Yeah, that was interesting. The art was like a different style than this one. This had a more kind of blocky, squared kind of art style. You know what I'm saying? And then this one was more not like that. I don't really know how else to explain it, but I really like this art style too. It was just different, but I liked it. Next, I want to read The Futurists because there's just a lot going on just on the cover and I have no idea what any of it means and so I just need to find out what it's all about. So, here we go. Season 1, Episode 1, The Road to Shambhala, or however you say that. so confused. thoroughly confused um I really don't know I, I'm I don't really know what this is about or what is happening um it kind of started in one place and then jumped to another place and I don't really I was kind of just confused the whole time so <laughs> so again this was very confusing I didn't get into it at all because I was kind of confused throughout the whole thing and wasn't really I don't know it was just hard for me to get into and really understand what was going on maybe it would just take reading the next installment to really get a handle on what's happening in more details um, 
but again the art style on this one it was just fun to look at still even if I didn't understand what was going on like the pictures were nice um, the art style again very different from the previous two this has a much more like realistic look to it and more like detail in the faces and stuff this was a very interesting page as far as the illustrations go and it's very interesting there's a lot of detail and a lot of stuff going on so that page was fun to look at but yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the Futurists. It was confusing and I just wasn't really into it. So I don't really see myself, I don't think I'm gonna get any more of these. like song lyrics. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Red Rooster, Strong Boy, and Motor Mouth. Interesting. Ew. Ew. Stop it. No, I can't stop. <laughs> Who does she think she is, Wonder Woman? Well, at least I understood this one. Alright, so that was my first time ever reading comic books. So now to kind of wrap things up a little bit. First, I read Bass Reeves, episode one, No God West of Smort... Smort... Fort Smith. It's been like a few weeks since I read it and I think some of the excitement has kind of worn off a little bit but I still kind of want to get the next installment just you know just because just to see and kind of continue the story so I might still get the next installment. I don't know if my Walmart has it yet but I will have to look the next time I go. The next one Nora's Saga. I really enjoyed this one too. Next I read The Futurists. I, I just don't plan on getting the next installment. I don't really care to really get into it or understand what was happening so I think I'm done with this one but it was still an experience. And lastly I read The Red Rooster. This is the only like superhero comic that Allegiance Arts Company has come out with. I wasn't really sure what to make of this one when I first saw it because I mean if you just like look at him I'm like mm he doesn't really look that cool as a superhero so I don't really know like I didn't enjoy looking at the illustrations as much as I did in this one so it's like which one of these do I like better it's kind of hard to say because I really liked the pictures in this one but the story wasn't following and this one I didn't really like I understood the story and was following but I wasn't really a big fan of it and I didn't really get into it and the pictures weren't as enjoyable so it's almost like I kind of liked this one better. And it's kind of funny how like the order that I read them in is also the order that I liked and disliked them in. And it kind of makes me wonder if like it really was like I liked the stories less and less or it was just with each one that I read the novelty of reading a comic book was kind of wearing off more and more. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really know. Maybe a combination of both. So like I had said, this is supposed to be a Christian company. This one, very obviously, um, Bass Reeves, he was a Christian, obviously, like, quoting, he knew the Bible. He sang hymns and quoted scripture and all of that. These other ones, I don't remember any Christian content or references or anything in them, so I'm not really sure. Maybe that kind of thing shows up more later. I'm not really sure. I think it was these two actually had a few cuss words in them, which I wasn't expecting, but it wasn't a big deal because it was the more like mild ones and it wasn't a lot. So I didn't really mind that very much. The D word a couple times and the H word a couple times. I think there was more cussing in this one than any of them. But again, it was only a few times. It wasn't a whole lot, but yeah, I guess that's all I need to note in that. 
all in all, I really enjoyed my comic book reading experience for the first time. This won't be the end of my journey, though. I would like to read, like, a Spider-Man comic at one some point. And there was a comic book that my friend Jake was reviewing in one of his videos that sounded really interesting to me. It was Superman. My library probably has it, so I'm going to try to get it from them at some point. So, yeah, it's been fun. It's It's been an experience for sure, and I have enjoyed it. Um, even the comic books I didn't quite enjoy were still, like, enjoyable in that sense. Like, it was still just interesting, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time for another Bookish Randoms video.